Greenland's rapidly melting ice sheet will eventually raise global sea levels by at least 27 centimeters, more than twice as much as previously forecast. And that's what researchers say is a, quote, very conservative rock bottom minimum. The new study published on Monday in the journal Nature Climate Change shows that over time that rise could be at least 27 centimeters or more, mainly because of what scientists are describing as zombie ice. That's doomed ice that, while still attached to thicker areas of ice, is no longer getting replenished by parent glaciers, now receiving less snow. Without replenishment, the doom ice is melting from climate change and will inevitably raise seas. The investigation, conducted by glaciologists with the National Geological Survey of Denmark and Greenland, found that the equilibrium of ice has now shifted, with experts saying that in order to correct itself, Greenland will lose some 100 trillion tons of ice. The unavoidable 27 centimeters in the study is more than twice as much sea level rise as scientists had previously expected from the melting Greenland ice sheet. And according to the study, it could reach as much as 78 centimeters. Before we thought of it as melting from above with the air warming, but now we know it's a lot more dynamic than that. The glaciers are melting from underneath. And what we're really seeing is that the oceans are playing a huge role in eating away that ice. The oceans, because they store over 90% of the heat that we trap with the greenhouse gases, they're warming. And that warmer water is going to have a bigger and bigger impact on the glaciers. The bottom line is if we continue with our current emission rates, scientists believe it could easily reach two feet by the end of the century. Two feet would put places like New York and Miami among dozens of others around the world underwater. What's more, the ice that melts reduces the salinity of our planet's ocean, acidifying them and killing the organisms that make them so good at pulling carbon out of the air. Liakit Tobias for CI Radio News.